democratizing of capital, you know, if you look at it, it's really about how do you make markets accessible to everybody. There is no small, there is no big. All this is achieved very easily through technology. Uh, it uh, allows you to not only access vast geographies, it allows you to take markets to the people who otherwise would not have access to the markets. It's one thing to say that these are the products and you know we, we sort of encourage people to come along and invest in those products but given each one's risk return profile and so on, it's clearly a life cycle and investment. One of the important uh, change it has brought to the markets apart from uh, reliability and uh, uh, the, the guarantee and so on and so forth is the reduction in the cost. I would always draw back to what Dr. Patel said, you know, uh, when we first sort of got into the drawing board on NSC. Uh, he said, I think the success of new markets like ours is when we are able to take markets to the doorstep of the investor and the investor doesn't come to the market. That really has to be the paradigm change. One thing we ensured is at least from the members' perspective, all members across India had equal access to the market. So there was no cartelization. Products that are being offered by NSC, they could be broadly classified under as like this. Equity products, equity derivatives and currency derivatives. And to some extent, interest rate products. In the equities, uh, you have uh, ex exchange traded funds, uh, gold ETFs and of course, corporate bonds. investor education, which is about somebody who is already putting his money in the market. How do you educate him to take better decisions? Now the industry also needs skilled people to be going to investors doorstep and talking about the investment product. We have a lot of awareness seminars, we use media, we use programs. In fact, uh, last year we even used street play formats to take the message of investor education across to uh, uh, to the Aam Aadmi who invests in the markets. We have designed some specific courses. We have our certification courses which we offer through online test administration. And I am doing my NAC Certified Market Professional and a completion of this examination gives me a lot of confidence. I can uh, help my customers in a better way. It will help me in my career uh, in because I want to make a career in stock market. Study materials that are provided are really good and informative. We have looked at school. Uh, school systems and uh, in the high school uh, we have approached a few states which have been very receptive to this idea and we have incorporated financial education as part of the optional subject which they do in the 8th and the 9th standard. We have also worked with the state boards and uh, central board for the 11th and 12th to incorporate it into the mainstream education. We have identified different types of people that is people who have saving potential but may not be knowing about our product suit at all and people who are already in our marketplace but don't know about the developments that have taken place and the young minds which are growing and which is likely to become the investing population of future. The more educated the investors are, it augurs for less grievances, it augurs for you know more satisfaction with participation in the markets and all of this works towards building confidence of the markets. At the time of designing the product, investor safety is built into the product. We also have settlement guarantee that we are the first ones to introduce, whereby if you have made a trade, irrespective of the counterparty defaulting or not defaulting, we as an exchange ensure that you get your money. Each and every trade is risk managed. If you're a broker, you have to bring in your collaterals. Once the trades happen, it checks against your limits. In case, if we violate that limit, you will be put on a closer. That is this huge mass which keeps chugging along in some sense. And at the same time, because it is small, many times it's access to either capital raising or management or talent, bandwidth, etc. always is limited. SMEs significantly contribute for multiple things to the Indian economy. Employment generation, to the GDP, to the foreign currency, uh, inward remittances, on and on. We did about two years of work with a lot of the SME clusters, with uh, 
PE, angel investors, networks, merchant bankers, just to understand what are the needs of the SME. SMEs generally, uh, uh, they uh, they are not good in governance. You know? That's the biggest problem, and and they have lack of capital and lack of support. We've worked with many of them in many areas, including you know uh, the board constitution of the board, how to get independent directors. We have called this platform as Emerge, that uh, indicates that it's, it's meant for emerging companies. More than that, uh, we, have, we have asked uh, companies which come to the platform will um, say mandatorily go through a, a grading process. Then uh, we also do a due diligence okay, from a third party. So that they are able to successfully raise capital and grow from there to sort of you know, uh, fulfill their larger growth aspirations. What we have done is to keep the cost of raising capital less. So how do we do that? Many of the programs which I've been, which I've been telling you will be supported by NSE. We go along with an SME for roadshows. We take the investment bankers along with us, talk to the customers uh, to say that, what is that we have done differently? <laughs> Today with more than uh, 200,000 terminals, about 35,000 branch offices of members all over India, there's a reasonable level of penetration. Our roadmap is to really take the benefits of HP Premium to at least 5 to 10 percent within coming two to five years period. If you see conventionally in most markets, a significant amount of the retail money really comes in through the retirals and the direct participation really follows thereafter. Somewhat our experience has been the reverse here. There is a great scope for increased household savings flowing into the Indian financial market. How to provide this is in itself is a great challenge. Awareness is the key. That is what we are focusing on and we believe once awareness is created, they will ask for products and they will ask for services which, which will help them uh, grow, uh, protect their savings and grow their savings. Consequently, Product innovation and bringing in products that are appropriate to different classes of investors will be a, a very high priority. We are continuously making an effort to bring down the overall technology costs, which in turn gets passed on to the actual investor. We've always focused on high standards of governance as an enterprise as well as for uh, the companies that get listed on us. And we have been mindful and the regulator has been very mindful that all the growth clearly comes with a uh, you know, with a benchmark of uh, good governance and good standards of risk management and market integrity. Mm -hmm.